What the heck is this thing? I'm gonna show you in this video, coming up. Welcome back to the channel, I'm RJ Ron Kilio. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. So I'll be the first to admit that I'm probably the least techy guitar YouTuber on the platform. So when Xsonic asked me to check out their X-Tone pedal, I was kind of like, mm. but once I started playing with it, I was kind of like, okay, I, I get it. So this is the Xsonic X-Tone Smart Stomp. Now you may be asking yourself, what does it do? But a better question to ask is, what doesn't it do? So on the most basic level, it's a compact mobile USB audio interface for your guitar or your bass or really anything that uses a quarter inch instrument cable. So with that being said, you can plug your instrument into your desktop computer, your laptop, iPad, any kind of tablet, iPhone, smartphone, whatever. Obviously then you can record guitar parts into the DAW of your choice, whether it be Pro Tools, Logic, GarageBand. And you can also play through modeling softwares or apps uh, for stuff like jamming or even practicing. But that's only the beginning. So as you can see, there's a few different output options. I mean, you can go regular mono out into your amp or you can do a stereo split right left to two different amps or you can take a balanced mic line XLR line straight to your mixing board and there's even a headphone jack right here if you want to practice or record quietly but wait there's more what are all these foot switches and this big volume knob and expression pedal jack doing on this thing well you can also use this as a foot switchable midi controller to change patches or presets in your guitar amp software in your ipad or your laptop for instance making this a really amazing tool to be able to use your laptop or smart device as your effect or amp in live situations. So you could actually replace your whole amp or pedal board or both with a, a laptop or an iPad. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a few ways that I personally would use this device. So my iPad and the X-Tone box are gonna be plugged into the send of my effects loop in my Sir PT100, which is the amp that I always use for all my videos. And that goes into my Two Notes Torpedo Live speaker simulator, which is also what I use for most of my videos. So the x comes with a bunch of cables. It comes with a, a USB cable plus an adapter uh, for things like an iPad. I believe there's an adapter for Android phones for like a USB-C thing as well. Uh, right now I'm just uh, plugged into my iPad and it does run off a of USB power. I'm using uh, the adapter, the power adapter, so I don't drain my iPad, but if you can see on this camera, power is out and it's still running via the USB from my iPad. So the first example I want to show you guys on the iPad is the Jam Up app, which is by Positive Grid, who also makes Bias Amp and Bias Effects. So right now I already programmed this, but I basically have a bank with four presets. I can actually switch between the presets using the Xsonic foot switch, see? So I could take this on a gig and I'll have a... A little clean with a delay. Switch over to a dirty. Slap rock. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's like a little overdriven plexi with uh, echo plex. Like a rockabilly slap. And then chorus solo. and back and forth now i'm gonna admit to you guys that i'm not an expert on this piece of gear just yet and there's a lot of things that this thing can do that i'm not going to cover in this video i'm just going to show you uh, what i've learned and discovered just by kind of noodling around and kind of looking at the manual here and there but uh, it's pretty easy to get going i'm going to show you how i just programmed the pedal to uh, move between Presets. I want to tell you that the X-Tone has three different MIDI modes. Uh, right now it's on the green mode, and each of the three MIDI modes work with different apps and software. Uh, it's all listed in the manual. Um, and sometimes within one piece of software, the different modes do different things, uh, which I'll show you in just a minute. But right now we're in green mode, which in Jam Up, 
allows me to switch between presets. If you hold down B, it switches to blue mode. If you look at my iPad, now these buttons can actually pull in and out some of these different effects. In my dirty, I can take out my tube screamer. I can put in this delay. This adds a chorus. Super easy. And before I go on, the third mode is red, which I haven't figured out how to use it yet. So back to green mode, where I'm switching between the different presets. So the way to set up presets in here, uh, in Jam Up, you're just going to the settings menu, hit MIDI setting, Hope this is showing up. And then MIDI control assignments. And then you have this whole list of assigned controls. And all you have to do is add new controller assignment. You can set up things like uh, volume, cry wah, pitch shifter, amp, effect switch. You can even control the jam player with this or the sampler. Here there's a section that says preset, switch to previous or next preset. So if I hit that and you can do preset plus, preset minus, page minus, page plus. Uh, so you can switch between different pages of presets. To scroll up a preset, I'll just hit preset plus, and then um, MIDI learn, so it just listens for what I'm going to hit, and I'm going to hit this button. There, and it's detected. Uh, and I'll do the same thing real quick with um, preset down, so preset minus, MIDI learn, and then I'll hit the A, and I'll hit the first switch, and there, it's all set. So now, I should be able to switch between all the presets. There you go. So I could totally see myself using this in a live situation. So that was the Jam Up app. Let me show you how we can use it in Amplitube. So now I'm in Amplitube and I am running a preset that has an octave pedal, an overdrive pedal, and a delay pedal post effects, uh, meaning post amp. And I'm on the blue mode in the X-Tone and I've assigned each of the uh, foot switches to control the pedal. So I can switch on and off all three pedals. So here's uh, with the octave and overdrive on. <laughs> If I don't want the octave, switch it off. If I want the uh, delay that's on the next page, I don't have to scroll to the next page. I can just hit the C button. And just to check, off, on, off, on. That's pretty cool. So really, I can use this as a substitute for bringing a pedal board to a gig. I can have all my pedals, in even an amp modeler, within my iPad uh, and just plug in either through my effects loop in my amp or even go direct to the board uh, using the uh, mic XLR out. All right, so now I have the X-Tone box plugged in through my MacBook Pro. Uh, so you can use all kinds of different guitar plugins. So for instance, I've just got bias effects running right here. Now I should note that you're going to have to have the pro version of bias effects to be able to use uh, MIDI control. I don't have the pro version, so unfortunately I can't show you, but I'll show you something else that you can do. So on Mac, there's a software called MainStage which is a way to use the plugins that you use in Logic Pro, which is a uh, digital audio workstation recording software, and use them 
live. For instance, I've got this set up um, with basically three different patches. One patch is using the built-in Logic amp and pedals, and the two other patches are using uh, Guitar Rig by Native Instruments. And I have the uh, X-Tone pedal set to switch between the three different patches. So here, so here's a basic voxy type sound that comes from the Apple Logic plugin. And you can use a whole bunch of plugins that you would uh, use in Logic. So I can add a tape delay from one company. I can use um, different compressors, different EQs, like if I have uh, Waves audio plugins. And then I can switch to this Eric Johnson y type plugin. <laughs> And then I have this, uh, what is this? Oh, it's like a surfy tremolo plugin. So depending on what plugins you have on your computer, you can set up endless amounts of patches using different guitar plugins, different post-processing plugins like compressors, um, reverbs, delays. So the possibilities are really endless with this. So I only had one button set to scroll between all three patches, but if I wanted to add another button to go forward so I can have forward and backward, uh, I do this. So I'm in assignments and mappings, and so I already have the previous patch uh, action assigned to a button. Uh, I'm, now I'm gonna scroll down to the uh, next patch assignment right here, right? You can't really see that. Uh, and then hit assign and map. Uh, override mapping, let's see here. Boom, it's at the top. So now I should be able to go back and forth. Yep. Very cool. And I'm pretty sure I could assign each button to a specific patch. Uh, I just don't want to screw anything up right now. Uh, so right now it's just going to go scrolling, you know, through the three different patches. <laughs> So I could be like in a surf jam. And I might want to take a uh, Eric Johnson type solo. And go back to the surf jam. And then maybe go to just a basic Voxy type clean. This is kind of cooler than bringing a pedal board to a gig, I have to say. Uh, it's probably along the same lines as using something like a Helix or a Kemper on a gig where you can actually design each patch to have its own set of pedals, amps, and post-processing effects. So this is super cool. And this is just using the stuff that I have in Logic. Obviously, it's kind of dependent on what specific plugins that you have installed. But if you have plugins like, you know, the Neural DSP Ford Nameless Suite, which is great for metal tones, you know, all the bias effects, bias amp stuff. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to learn more, I'll have all the links in the description below. As always, if you like this video, click that thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, click that thumbs down twice. Share it with your friends, your family, tax specialists that hopefully got you some money back this year. I hate doing taxes. If you'd like to see more videos like this, gear demos, tour vlogs, guitar lessons, click that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.